Hey guys, today we're going to be learning about semicolons and colons. So, semicolons are used to join related independent clauses that are not already joined by the conjunctions and, or, nor, for, but, so, or, yet. Now, independent clauses are just two sentences that can sit by themselves. So, an example of two independent clauses would be, the ice cream man drove by my house today and he had long brown hair. Now, if we want to put those sentences and make it into one, <clears throat> we use a semicolon and we would place it in the middle of the two. So it would say, the ice cream man drove by my house today, semicolon, he had long brown hair. We use a, also use a semicolon to join independent clauses separated by either a conjunctive adver adverb or a transitional expression. Um, here we have a list of all the conjunctive adverbs and transitional expressions. Um, so an example would be, we were very impressed with the child's knowledge of history, semicolon. Indeed, she was remarkably well informed about the first English settlement. As you can see, the word indeed is on the list of conjunctive adverbs, so the semicolon goes right before it. The colon is a mark that directs attention to the information that follows it. So we use a colon before a list of items following an independent clause. So an example of this would be, the committee now includes the following people, colon, Amy Brown, Mike Folk, Emma Jensen, and Robert Teojanko. So as you can see, the colon goes before all the people's names. Colons are used to indicate time with numerals, to end salutations in business letters, and to signal important ideas. Some examples are numerals that give time, such as 10.22 a.m., salutations in business letters, such as Dear Mr. DiZallo, and labels, notice, colon, shop is closed for repairs. And that's semicolons and colons.